<laughs> Hello nerds, or in this case, weebs. Today, we're gonna talk about probably one of my favorite subjects in all of art. Characters you miss the point of by idolizing them, or characters you just miss the point of. I'm James. I was still Kyle. He's still Kyle. And uh, I wanted to start with probably one of the most well-known anime characters, even to those who don't know anime, mm -hmm. Spike Spiegel. Okay. Yeah, he is, if you've ever seen Cowboy Bebop, he's the lovable, scuzzy, for lack of better terms, asshole who ends up saving the day. And I see a lot of people idolize him, and it's like, that's not the point. Mm -hmm. It's not the point. He's a good person. He has a good heart. But to get to such places, he has to be driven to the nth degree mm -hmm. to really get to where he needs to go. Mm -hmm. And it's that's not what you should idolize. You should idolize characters. Best example, even though it's most people will think it's cringy, is like Kamina from Gurren Lagann, Simone from Gurren Lagann. Every character from Gurren Lagann, <laughs> it, with the exception of the anti-spiral. Um, it's like you want to idolize these characters who are strong with conviction and also kind-hearted the whole way through. Another one I just remembered, Light Yagami from Death Note. Mm, okay. Don't idolize him. <laughs> I should go without saying. Like, you gotta have at least a comment on that. Right. So, for me, this topic is something that I never actually thought about until you brought it up earlier today. And I'm trying to think of, like, more classic ex uh, examples of this. Like, originally when like cell and uh frieza and vegeta were introduced like they kind of had that same like i'm gonna destroy everything i'm gonna kill everything i'm gonna blow everything up but then the character develops a bit like vegeta has the most redemption out of all of them but frieza i just still don't understand why people like frieza because he always backstabs everybody and like people are like he's my favorite villain and i'm like what what are we doing here <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? you're idolizing Frieza in a way where he's meant to just kind of be, he has some redeemable features, but he's always in it for himself, right? Very much so. And I think that's the more classic side of that, but I believe you have a more modern example in JoJo that kind yes. of starts this entire yes. conversation. And I would love for you to jump right into that. You could extrapolate it to almost any villain in JoJo because people inherently misunderstand all of them somehow. It's impressive, really. <laughs> But the biggest example I see is Dio Brando. Everybody under the sun misunderstands Dio at some point because he is, yes, the flamboyant, homo erotic, maybe vampire that's like, yeah, he's funny. He goes the muda muda zawarudo. It's funny. But at the same time, by making him this paragon of essentially pop culture, by making him this beloved villain, you've misunderstood Dio. He's not supposed to be this cool dude. He sucks. He kills a dog. He burns a dog alive. He makes dog-human hybrids out of zombies. He tries to take his adopted brother's body because he's that much of a narcissist. And then later, he tries to kill his entire adopted brother's bloodline. This dude isn't a good dude. He sucks. And it's... It drives me up the wall when people are like, yeah, Dio's so cool. It's like, that's not the point. You've missed the point of Dio. You're supposed to hate him with everything. And I'll admit, I used to really like Dio because he was such a good villain. Now I'm like, I like Dio because he's good at what he does in the story. Other than that, I just hate him with the entirety of my being. So you would say with everything that you just explained about that, like Bakugan in My Hero, yeah. fits that same profile for oh, you then very much so it's you aren't supposed to like bakugo <laughs> he sucks stop holding him up as a cool dude but his Please. character design sick it is it is sick <laughs> i won't lie like all the villains have the fun character designs but you're not supposed to like them which i will now lead into more characters you misunderstood one of the biggest ones i see is neon genesis evangelion and the best girl debate Oh my god, you aren't supposed to idolize or like any of them. Mm -hmm. You missed the point, people. They all suck. They all suck. They all suck. They all suck. Like Ray, Asuka, Misato, Ritsuko. Uh, those are like the four big examples I can think of. It's like they all suck as people. They all just suck. So you're not supposed to like debate which one is the best because 
Newsflash, none of them are. If anything, you should be debating who's the worst. <coughs> Oscar. <coughs> Anyways, uh, any more characters? Um, I think more recent examples that there are out there are even the people, like you look at some of the demons in Demon mm. Slayer, and yeah. specifically, I forget what the big bad's actual name is. Luzon? Yeah, so I, pe I feel like people, again, really seem to love him and compare him to Michael Jackson and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> and they're going out of their way to like idolize him, but at the end of the day, like he's murdering and killing people and turning people into demons like for centuries. You know yes. what I mean? Like you're looking at this character at like a level where from the beginning of his like creation, he has been slaughtering people. And they're like, yeah, but he's like a cool guy that makes demons. And I'm that, like, that doesn't make you instantly better. Being right. Having the savoir-faire of a peacock doesn't <laughs> make you a better person. Again, every villain in JoJo is awful, and yet people will somehow make them out to be not as bad. It's like you missed the point. You've missed the point. <laughs> Drives me up a wall sometimes. Anyway, before James has a heart attack and an existential crisis, this has been us over here at Nerd Alert. We'll catch y'all next week. Stop misunderstanding characters, please.